Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is a super, 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 super exciting video. I'm going to be reviewing some more Raw Cosmetics products. So here with me I've got the Raw Wild Berry Boost Primer with Coconut Water, Wild Berry Harvest, Licorice Root and Rosehip Oil. And I've also got the Raw Super Glow Beauty Balm Medium Coverage like Foundation it looks or beauty balm I call it and I have the shade caramel um, so that's similar to the previous foundation that I tried out on um, the full coverage where is it the medium to full coverage foundation their um, super camo foundation so yeah I thought I'd try these out for you guys today I haven't had a full day where I can just wear full face and makeup and try it out properly so I'm keen to get started on this. I will get, leave my other video um, where I go into more detail about the company and everything like that. I just love this brand because they are like really, really natural, cruelty free, vegan, all that good stuff. Like I'm trying to incorporate more natural makeup brands on my channel. So I like when I get to review things like this and try them out for you guys if you want to purchase them yourselves. I think it's 70% organic, 99% natural origin. Um, and then 60% superfood, so I think it's like 99% natural, basically is what it's saying. And this um, beauty balm is made with coconut water, wild berry harvest, cacao, rosehip oil, and chia seed oil, which is pretty cool. So it's similar to this, so hopefully they go well together. I will prime one side of my face and leave the other one unprimed just to see how it wears during the day. I like to do that in all my foundation like reviews just to make sure that it wears well throughout the day and that to see if like a primer makes a difference or not but I'm also I've never tried this primer out so we would be reviewing the primer at the same time kind of thing you know so on their website the beauty balm retails for $30 so $29.99 you've got a little range shade range here I know with raw um, cosmetics they don't have a huge shade range just because I feel like they're using such natural products it's a lot harder to try and get that different in shade like that difference in shades for you guys but I do wish they had a more of like a deeper skin range for you gorgeous dark skin girls because it is hard to find something natural and like that matches your skin tone so you get 30 mils of product I think in both as well yeah 30 mils and in the description they say get glowing with your best skin yet using our complexion loving beauty balm enhanced with rich berry wild berry harvest and a coconut water base for maximum hydration the balm gives you smooth and even light to medium coverage with a dewy natural finish apply with light brush strokes or fingers for the best effect so it is going to be a very like dewy glowy finish i think which i really really like i think it's going to look so beautiful um, very natural and glow for a summer summer day and it's very hydrating so for you guys with like quite like dry skin medium to dry skin this will probably be really good for you as well because it will be quite hydrating and give a nice dewy look to your skin for the primer it retails at $35 the description says it's a natural primer infused with hydrating power of coconut water and wild berry harvest for the ultimate nutrient boost the licorice root promotes skin elas elasticity and reduces pigmentation sorry while rosehip oil replenishes and helps heal skin to create a perfectly primed base for makeup application cute okie dokie let's get to the face shall we get to the skin so i'm going to go in and just apply the primer to the left side of my face um just because i have the most like look at that look at all my breakouts <laughs> of the most redness and pigmentation and things so if this reduces it That'll be a good thing. So just done a pump or two on my hand. I always like the um, packaging of the Raw Cosmetics like companies. It always comes with a cute little pump rather than like a squeeze bottle or anything. It's just the most hygienic way of applying makeup, I think, having a pump there. So thank you, Raw. And honestly, I'm just applying it, like I said, to the left side of my face. We could do with a bit of priming down here, I'll tell you. I'm just going to town, just rubbing that in. So with the foundation on it doesn't it feel really sticky or anything like you can feel it a little bit there But it doesn't feel that sticky Does it give a glow to my skin? Oh a little bit like a little bit of a glow nothing too crazy Honestly, I don't really notice too much of a difference having that primer on Except that it does smooth out my pores a little bit 
And do you feel like the pigmentation smoothed out? I don't know. Like it's still red. So I don't know. I'm not noticing too much at the moment. But I mean the bit, the true test factor will be noticing if the foundation lasts longer on the primer side than the unprimed side anyway. Okay. So let's get on with the beauty balm. I think it's so cute that they named a beauty balm as well. So I'm just going to squeeze like a decent amount on the back of my hand. Mmm, it has like a cacao, like chocolatey smell. Very subtle though, it's beautiful. Beautiful. And I'm just going to use my Eeg Show foundation brush today to apply this. Um, but I'm just going to chuck it on with my fingers first. Oh, it's quite thick. Wow. I thought it was going to be quite thin because it's a balm. But now that I'm thinking about it, that does make sense that it is thick. Being a balm, like the Megan. But that is like super thick. Wow. I wonder how that's going to feel on the skin. I might just take the earring out just so it doesn't get foundation on it. Just apply some of this down my neck where all my breakouts are. I'm actually trying out a new skincare routine, guys. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm trying to heal up these acne breakouts that have just appeared all over my neck and lower half of my face it's always fun <laughs> so I use about a couple pumps just then I'm just applying that foundation to my face I might go in on the unprimed side first and buff that in wow it's so thick oh, it's a bit like this super camo foundation like it's quite thick in texture and it's very thick to try and blend out but it does sit on the skin so nicely on this side. And it's more of a light, light coverage. Light to medium, would you say? Light coverage so far? I don't know. I have to check the medium when I actually have stuff to see if it covers like here. It is so thick. Oh, but it covered that breakout really well. I guess if it's really thick, hopefully it'll stay really well during the day. Like it won't slide around or fade. I mean, fingers crossed. Yeah, it covers the breakouts pretty well. I mean, like, you can still see them. But it's definitely reduced the redness and angriness in them. A fair bit. Actually, that's a pretty medium coverage, I would say. Defo medium coverage. <laughs> Don't mind that, like, bruise on my face, honestly. It's been there for ages. And you do not want to know the story behind that. Ugh, honestly. So maybe the shade is... Oh, actually, the shade matches really well. In normal light, it just looks a little bit dark on camera. I'm feeling in the viewfinder anyway. I really like this coverage, so it's more like medium, so I can still see my beauty spots and a few freckles and things. Not too many, but just a couple peeking through. Yeah, I'm gonna apply more coverage to this area here just because I want it to cover up a little bit more of that. I'm not a fan of my skin here at the moment. That is as good as it's going to get, I think. So as you guys can see, it does give such a nice uh, even coverage on the skin. It doesn't, like I said, it's not a full coverage, so it's not going to cover up every little bit and piece, like every nook and cranny, every little blemish and everything. But it's covered up the redness really well on my face. It's sitting really beautifully on there. It doesn't feel uncomfortable, even though it's really thick and like hard to blend in. I found a little bit more work to blend in. I mean, it wasn't hard, it was just more work. It's sitting really nicely on the skin and it's very comfortable. And it has covered up those breakouts pretty well considering that they were so dark and so angry. And it does match my skin pretty well too. But yeah, so I'm going to quickly go ahead and conceal just with my just with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade Medium Wayne. And I will use their pressed powder. So I'm going to go in with their Superfood Infused from the Earth Pressed Powder in the shade Nude. I like to use this to set my face. And I have done a review on it in my first Raw Cosmetics review video. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave that link down below. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly do this and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I've just, like I said, just the, dun, 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 dun. I've just done the concealer and the powder and everything like that. I will go through and like bronze and highlight and apply blush and everything really quickly. Um, but I'll do that off camera. I just want to show you guys what it looks like now before I apply any of that. But as you guys can see, it's really quite flawless. Um, you can see the breakouts a little bit, but not really, which is awesome. 
Uh, it is medium coverage. I would definitely not put it as full coverage, but you could probably build it up a little bit more. I didn't really want to. I prefer a more natural kind of look, so more medium to light coverage makeup look, especially for an everyday. It doesn't really have like a super glowy look to it. I mean, there is a bit of a glow. Um, maybe on actually, I think on the primer side, my skin looks a little bit more glowy. So. That's interesting compared to the unprimed side. It just looks more matte and um, there isn't really too much of a glow to the skin. Uh, I wouldn't give it like the whole radiance kind of feel about it. It isn't really super radiant. Though like I said that primer does give a beautiful glow underneath. Surprisingly since like it wasn't really glowy when I applied it on. But it does seem to be giving a glow to this side of my face. The um, foundation sits so beautifully over my pores. They don't look obvious, like even on my texture here from when I had acne, there's not an obviousness to it. It just smooths over the skin so beautifully, smooths over texture so, so flawlessly and doesn't cling to any of my breakouts or scabs or anything. It just glides right over so, so smoothly. So I really am loving this foundation right now. It's so, so, so nice. Um, but like I said, the wear test will really tell me how it lasts throughout the day. Like, yeah, it looks nice when I apply it on now, but like how will it go throughout the day is my big question. So yeah, I'll go ahead and apply the rest of the products to my face and I'll be right back in a second. Okay guys, so I'm back. Uh, this is the final look to the skin. I've just applied some of these Zooey products. Just some of the nutmeg foundation as like more of like a bronzer because it is quite dark for me. I have reviewed this brand. This is another natural brand that I will leave linked in the cards if you want to check it out like the review on this. And then I just used some of the what was it? The Mary Luminizer as my highlight today. And then of course went in with this Revlon Tropical Lipstick. I thought a pink would look cute today. And just because the packaging of the raw um, foundation is pink, I was like, I'll just tie that in with the look today. But yeah, this is how the skin is looking. What do you guys think so far? It's currently 10.15, guys. So this is probably been on about for like half an hour or so, I would say. So I'll start the time up from 10 today. I'll start from 10. So hopefully I can have it on for at least eight hours today and give you guys the full review on how it lasts, especially for like a working day. But yeah, so here we see how we're going so far. It's looking really nice, it's looking really seamless. Hopefully it stays that way. I'll check in with you guys in a couple of hours or so. Hey guys, so I'm back. It is now currently 1 p.m. So it's been about three hours or so. So this is how we're looking. I actually feel like the skin like looks more like skin-like than I did before. It was still a little bit powdery. I didn't use a setting spray today because I want to see how the foundation wears without one. But I always love how the skin looks like a few hours into like wearing the foundation. Like it really starts to sink in and look really skin-like and glowy and the oil starts to just kind of slightly appear but obviously not too much. As we can see it's looking still super super good. Like Still, I completely covered up those breakouts here. It hasn't settled into any fine lines or like smile lines or anything like that. Or even my forehead lines. Like as you can see, it's still sitting super smooth over the top of those. Um, what I do have to say, I mean, one thing is that, oh, not on this side, but on this side, if you guys can see, like it's kind of settled into those little creases in my nose just a little bit. Not too much, but just like a little bit. That's just the only thing I've noticed. It hasn't faded. Um, it's not clinging to any of my breakouts or anything like that, making them look crusty and obvious, which thank God I hate when foundation does that. But otherwise, guys, yeah, we're looking super good. I'm happy with how it's going. In terms of like primer versus unprimed side, like primed versus unprimed, there's not really a lot of difference, honestly. Like literally just in probably the glowy aspect, but even then, like my skin, my natural oils are starting to kind of just poke through a little bit which I actually don't mind um so it's starting to look a bit glowy anyway but yeah I like that it's not matte and flat I like that this foundation doesn't look super matte I'm not a fan even though I do have oily skin I do like something with a little bit of skin like shine you know but yeah that's all I have to really update you guys on. It hasn't faded, which is also good. It can tend to fade, especially around these areas on my face. 
but it hasn't done that. She's pulling through, she's going super strong, so hopefully she can take it all the way to the end of the day. Hey guys, so for this last little bit, I'm actually just gonna vlog it for you guys. Um, as you guys can see, look how flawless my skin is looking, like especially in this acne, like troublesome zone. Like look how flawless it is. It hasn't faded, the foundation hasn't clung to any of the acne or dry patches or anything like that, which is so good. Like, honestly, that's all I want in a foundation is to cover up my troublesome areas. Look how flawless that is. I mean, as you guys can see, some of my oils have started to seep through a little bit, um, just especially in my T-zone area. I'm looking a little bit greasy, but usually like for an everyday kind of thing i just bring a bit of powder and just pat those areas dry a little bit just do a bit of powder pattern but i'm so so happy with how it's kept throughout the day all the products on top have set so nicely they're sitting so well i haven't gone all patchy or clung to anything considering like the primed and unprimed side i don't see too much of a difference do you guys what do you guys think I think it's just sitting a little bit more smoother on the skin as opposed to this area here. Like it's kind of clung to these areas around my nose and actually it's done really well around my mouth. It hasn't sunk into any of the smile lines, which is a plus. <laughs> I think, I mean, I still look greasy on this side, so my oils have still like kind of poked through that. The primer hasn't really helped that, but it isn't a mattifying primer anyway, so what can you do? But I'm really happy with how it's going. My skin is looking super glowy, super radiant, super healthy. Still full coverage. This has been like seven and a half hours. And she's looking good. I was even just saying like to my mom because she knew I was reviewing this um, foundation. Oh, look, there I am in the background. <laughs> she was just saying like, oh, it's lasted really well. I was like, yeah, raw cosmetics honestly last so, so well. Like I've reviewed three of their foundations now. I swear I use them all the time because they just last so long and they do... They do hold their coverage and they do hold like like adhesive to the skin really well. Like there's no patchiness. I'm not fading. The coverage of the foundation is still there. Like I'm really happy with this brand and with this product. So it's a big yes from me. Primer was good, but like I wouldn't go out of my way and go and buy it again. I would buy the foundation again because honestly, look at this. But with the primer, like I'm more of a mattifying primer kind of person just because as you guys can see, I do get greasy and oily. I need something mattifying underneath. So yeah, that was my spiel. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions or queries or anything like that, like involving the foundation or anything you want me to review as well, let me know down below in the comment section. I love you all so much. Thank you for your love and support and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.